Hello, and in this video, we're going to get all the pieces we need into a folder for our Trammel so we can create that Trammel toy in our next video. Uh, so previously, we've created uh, the corner pieces, the bottom right, top right, bottom left, top left. Uh, we downloaded the crank arm from uh, 135 and made that uh, detailed drawing page. Uh, we've created the pin slider block and the screw slider block and the Trammel base. Uh, so now in order to assemble it, uh, there's a few more pieces we need to add. So I'll kind of pull up that list. Uh, so it shows we got these top pieces. Uh, next thing on the list is it says on 2, it should say 241, there's a download on the Trammel Tour connected pin. Uh, so I'm going to go to 241, which I have it open right here. And since I'm using Onshape, I'm going to select the inventive file. So I want the Trammel Tour connected pin file, which is the bottom one here. All I'm going to do is click on it. It's going to download that file for me. Uh, then I can go back to Onshape and I can go create and import files. It's going to be in my download. So I click on download and it's my very top option. I hit open. It's a single document, so I can just import it as a single document. And that puts that into my folder here. I don't need to click on it to open right now. It's up. It's translating right now. So I don't want to open it until it's done translating. So let's go on to our next item we need. Uh, these next ones, they have a part number. You're going to get those from the McMaster uh, catalog. So to do that, all I'm going to do is open a new tab on the internet and go to McMaster.com. So McMaster.com. And then for each one of the parts, I just need to take that. Uh, part number, so I take that number right there, control C to copy it, and I paste that into my McMaster card. Uh, then you can see it selects the part for me. Uh, you don't want to click and go to a different part, it already selects the one you need. Uh, you can make sure your number matches up here, and then we're going to hit product detail. Uh, from there, we're just going to scroll down to this section where it's got your drawing page, and it's got a spot for you to hit save. Uh, that's going to download the CAD model for that part. Uh, you can keep it as a 3D solid work that will translate and work in Onshape. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, then I can go back to Onshape, and I can download that part as well. So I can go create, import files, same thing, select the top option, and it's a single part, so I can do a single document again. Uh, so I'm going to keep working my way through that list. So we got the first one, the socket head screw. Uh, so then I do my next one, control C, come over here, control V, to paste, and enter. It selects that uh, nut for us, that hex nut. Again, we want product detail, scroll down, hit save, and then come back to on tape. Again, create import files and again i'm just going to select the top one uh, you can do this separate all at the end and do all your downloads at once it's totally up to you how you go about doing uh, so then i'll go back to my next one i have a six millimeter dowel so i'm going to highlight that Control c uh, come over into the catalog and paste that number in Control v hit enter uh, it brings us down to it hit product detail Scroll on down, hit save, and that gives us that piece. Again, create, import file, select our top option, and open. It's going to do a single document again. Uh, go back to our list, and then we have this 5 millimeter dial. So again, I'm going to highlight my number, control C, come over to my catalog, paste it in with control V, hit enter. It selects it for me. All I have to do is product detail, go down to save, and save it, and then come back to my on shape. Hit create, uh, import files, and then again, it's going to be my top option. Hit open in a single document. So that imports all the dowels and screws and nuts I need. Uh, then the uh, final piece, if we look at the list, is just a quarter inch that wooden dowel with a 20 that's 24 millimeters long. Uh, so we're going to actually create this in Onshape. So to do that, all I'm going to do is create, I want a new document, and then I'm just going to name it quarter inch wooden dial. That way I know what it is. I'll clear out these uh, notifications while we're waiting. And this one's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to create. So I'm just going to sketch. I'll go on the front, it really doesn't matter. And all I'm going to do is sketch a circle, go in the center. 
and we said quarter inch or 0.25 inch so that gives me that uh, diameter for my wooden dowel and then all I have to do is extrude so I'm going to hit extrude you can click inside your circle and we want to go 24 millimeters hit enter it automatically converts it for you and then that gives us our wooden dowel uh, if you want to change the color again you just right click where it says part one I'm going to rename it while I'm here I'm going to name it wooden dowel so I know what it is and then right click and I'm going to edit appearance and since it's wood I'll make it kind of a, a wooden type of color uh, hit our green check to accept and that gives us our wooden dowel uh, so now we should have all the parts we need when we go to work on our trammel. Uh, so we got all those downloads. Uh, you can make sure that they are by clicking on it and it opens up. Uh, so you can see like our socket head screw. You don't have to. That part's going to be there when we need it in our next video. Uh, so hopefully this helps you get uh, those parts you need uh, into your trammel folders so you can uh, assemble the trammel in our next video. Uh, so I'll give you a second here if you need those part numbers. Those are right in here. Uh, thank you. Hopefully this helps and good luck.